All right, guys. So, okay. Um, to add on to this video to make it a little longer. Um, so, okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm a little sidetracked. Um, meeting someone here. Have you guys ever heard of the app Let Go? Uh, you can sell different stuff that you have to different people. So I'm actually meeting somebody um, at a local area to buy some of my. Hold on, hold on. Coins. If you guys can see with a camera, pick it up. Eh, it might be upside down. Anyway, I've uh, got three coins that I'm selling. Anywho, so uh, my thought on the Bama SCT X4 tune. Um, so. I don't know if you guys seen the last video or second to last one of the last videos of the tuner, but here it is. So we got this. Um, we got a preloaded tune specifically designed for this car um, with the specs and everything done to it. Uh, the last video, it said it could take up to 50 miles of normal driving. Um, before, when you would put the pedal to the floor, you know, I would burn out, um, and then, you know, once it got traction, when it sh would shift, it would kind of just smoothly transition to second, to third, to fourth, like, which was really awesome. Like, there was no jerking or nothing. Now, whew, now I think it would, would chirp second gear if I would put it to the floor. I don't think I'm going to ever put it to the floor, and I want to, I'll tell you guys why, um, in a minute, but... Yeah, when you get on it, like, say, three-quarters of the throttle, wow, when it hits second gear, it it has that, like, split-second delay, and, and it just throws you back in your seat after it goes into second. I mean, it just, the power is just crazy. Um, adding up all of my stuff, so the V6 Mustang is stock 210 horsepower. Uh, I think people have figured it out at, like, 185 to 187 to the wheel actual horsepower um, then with all the stuff that I've done to it according to the papers um, if I go by the 210 horsepower and if I go by every um, guesstimate from each different performance mod that I put on it w I should be at 240 to 250 horsepower right now um, now you know I don't know what exactly it really is putting to the wheels but yeah, so I, I I can definitely feel a massive, massive difference. Uh, fuel economy is worse, I would say, as far as city, like stopping and starting and, um, you know, just slowly getting on it. Um, with the tune, I can tell the RPM stay higher longer before, you know, it would... Now it's... Until you go, you know, faster. But if I would stay at a certain speed, the RPMs would just stay higher and then stay in that gear instead of just jumping to the next gear. So when it's doing that, you know, I'm losing fuel mileage, which I don't care at all. Um, but after that, you know, I'm averaging on my uh, edge. I have a um, edge in sight. I forget the full model. If you guys want to know about it, you know, it's over. It's over here. But that monitors a whole bunch of stuff, including uh, fuel mileage and how many uh, miles per gallon I'm getting. So I'm averaging 30 miles a gallon right now, and that's basically because I just only, you know, I reset it and I've driven it about 25 miles now. And when I'm in fifth gear, just cruising, I'm getting 25 to 35 miles a gallon. You know, if you're just cruising. So I think this tuner definitely. You know, if you're going um, on any trips or stuff, this definitely actually added fuel mileage as well. And it says it's supposed to. It says you're, you can get better fuel mileage. Of course, you got to take care of it. But back on to, um, you know, I don't want to put it to the floor because now I think it has so much power that I'm a little bit uh, hesitant to fully test out the power of all the aftermarket parts to put on and the tune because the transmission I think is strong um, that's why I 
purchased this. It has 123,000 miles on it, but the transmission, everything was you know solid. We checked over everything before we purchased it and test drove it and everything, and it's solid. But I don't think I want to take that risk because now that we got, um, for example, let's say we just added 30 extra horsepower, that puts us to 240. Um, the tuner is rated for what was it, 12 to 15 extra horsepower alone, and they say that's to the wheel. Um, and an extra 22 torque with this, that's what I was specifically told for my vehicle that they custom tuned, and that's just that. So, I I'm pretty sure in total I'm up around 250 horsepower. Um, so now, you know, when I got on it three quarters of throttle, and I wasn't at, at like a stop sign or anything, I was probably going 30, 30 miles an hour and I floored it you know it it just the power is there you know it, it's crazy it, it is truly crazy the, the power that it now pushes out um, and I don't want to ruin the transmission or anything because this is this car is a show car in a way um, this car is it's not a daily driver it's just something for fun to do really my endorphins uh, if you guys don't know what endorphins are it's a chemical release in your I think in your brain um, that makes you happy um, you know I think it's the same chemical that they say if you do a good job at something oh this might be the lady uh, it might be the lady coming to meet me so if it is all right I think it is anyway uh, Acura I don't know if she had Acura Okay, I'm not sure if it is the lady or not. Um, I don't know. So anyway, I guess I'll con continue talking. Uh, so and kind of keep my eye on them. <laughs> so the endorphin. Yeah, where was I at? The endorphin. It is a chemical release, and I'm pretty sure in your brain. Um, so if you do, a, it's almost like a child. If a child does something and you reward them they say it's the same kind of chemical that is released or when you do a good job at something nope it's not the lady alright we'll put it back up here um, or if you have something that you really love like for my wife she loves dogs so uh, her Sheltie gives her endorphins because that's what she loves and as car guys know you know when you're working on your own vehicle when you are say adding installing something you know it's kind of a pain getting those bolts off and stuff but after you're done doing something it's kind of like wow you know this is cool you know I'm working on my car or you know you get something done to your car and it's like oh man this is so cool that is that is our um, release we get endorphins from that car guys and you know people some people get it from reading books some people get it from watching movies some people get it from working out at the gym you know everybody it's basically you know what really really makes you happy um, can release that you know your spouse you know some some spouses <laughs> um, but yeah anyway so to me you know it's just it's I don't want to you know put it to the floor just to see what it can do and then the transmission go out you know I want to take care of the car um, but yeah so that's just pretty much a show car a Sunday driver car um, just something to work on to you know when my wife's working like, during the weekend You know, it's it's fun to, to have something to work on instead of uh, Sitting around always on YouTube. I mean YouTube is I spend four to six hours a day on YouTube total um, Sometimes I get up before I go to work which sometimes I leave at 4 a.m. I get up five ten minutes early just to you know get a video uh, start a video upload on YouTube and so forth and then you know when I come home I'm on YouTube and when you know any spare time I'm on YouTube so my life consists of getting up YouTube working coming home YouTube spending um, you know once my wife gets off work if I get off work before her spending the evening with her and then right before bed getting a shower doing a little bit of YouTube like maybe five ten minutes just to you know tidy up what I was doing throughout the day and repeat the process that's kind of my life so it's nice to you know if I have a 30 minutes extra or something to come out here just work on just to get away from staring at a screen um, so it's kind of what this thing is and you know I love it people like to make fun of Mustangs 
Um, I think, you know, when I was younger and 18, I made fun of Fords. I was not a Ford person. I hated Fords. I dated, I was even engaged to a girl who loved Fords and a whole family loved Fords. And I made fun of their Fords. And that was mainly because I was immature. Um, you know, I don't think... I don't think any brand is better than another. I have owned 13 different vehicles because I used to buy some vehicles, fix them up, enjoy them for a little bit, and resell them. Um, so I've had, I've had mostly Chevys, and from I've had two Camaros, two Firebirds, uh, a load of square body pickup trucks, Chevelle, um, Jeep Wrangler. That was my first vehicle. Uh, SUVs, and then I've had a Ford F-150, a Ford Explorer, and the Ford Mustang. Um, and what I've learned through having three Fords and all those Chevys is every vehicle has issues, every brand has issues, every brand has customers who have issues, Ford owners, Chevy owners, you know, they all got issues. We all have issues. Um, I think it's just really a, a matter of being mature and respecting each other and respecting each other's brand. You know, coming from a Chevy line, I love Chevy. I love Chevy. I'm, I didn't switch to Ford because Chevy's, you know, let me down and this and that. Yeah, I've had issues with my S. I could go through every single Chevy I've owned and give you things that, you know, that should have been diff done differently when it was made or things that gave me problems. I can also do the same thing to every Ford that I've owned, except Explorer has been pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the Ford Explorer. But you know, there it's been. It gave me some issues. The Mustang, you know, kind of some issues. But all right. Anyway, they're here. Gotta go. Take care, guys. All right. I kind of left on a bad note there. You know, quickly. So I just wanted to say every brand has issues, and you know, this video is kind of jumped around from the exhaust to. Yeah, pretty much vlogging, um, but I just wanted to say that every brand has issues and everybody respect everybody, guys. Um, my Mustang, love it. Um, I probably put 300 miles on it. That's it since I've got it. Um, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Uh, it does mean a lot to me. I am not your typical YouTuber. I hope you guys can find that out over time. You know, I'm not... I have another YouTube channel, main channel, and... My car channel, you know, I've been really putting a lot of effort into it and I want to make it even better. So I hope you guys can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. If you guys could hit that like button, that would mean a lot as well. Uh, if there's anything you guys want to see or if you, there's anything you want me to talk about, please let me know. If there's a mod that I've done that you want me to specifically go over details on that, please let me know. Uh, I put links in my video description on everything that I've purchase for the car and where you can get it from safe sellers and so forth so if you guys have any questions please let me know all right guys take care hope you guys have a great day bonus question so uh does anybody go and ceramic coat their car every time they drive it or after they drive it when they get back i do um link is in the description of what i use but i use shine armor um, it's a, I think it's a ceramic coating or something like that. Um, so yeah.